Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magsasolve tayo ng circuits using superposition theorem. So kung gusto nyo ito ang matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time is magsasolve lang tayo ng circuit using superposition theorem. So ito yung challenge problem ko sa dulo sa old video ko about superposition theorem. So kung hindi nga pa napapanood yung old video ko about superposition theorem, is ililink ko na lang para ma-check nyo. Okay, so ito yung problem natin doon. So use superposition theorem to find VO in the circuit below. Okay, so meron tayong given circuit dito, meron tayong dalawang sources, isang 4 amp current source at isang 10 volt voltage source. And then meron tayong resistors 3 ohms, 5 ohms at 2 ohms. So hanapin natin yung voltage VO across dito sa 2 ohm resistor. So gagamitin daw natin yung superposition theorem. So as I recall, kapag ginamit natin yung superposition theorem, ibig sabihin para mahanap natin yung VO or yung voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor is isasum up natin yung voltage drop across this 2 ohm resistor due to the involved sources sa circuit taken one at a time. So ibig sabihin, i-off natin yung other sources at magtitira lang tayo ng isang source sa circuit tsaka natin kukuhain yung VO due to that active source. Okay? So ibig sabihin, pag kinuha natin yung VO, equal yan sa VO due to the 10 volt DC source plus VO due to the 4 amp current source. So, take note, algebraic sum siya. So, kaya meron tayong polarity dito na plus minus. Pwede kasing maging uh, with respect dito sa polarity ng VO, maging negative yung value ng VO natin due to a particular active DC source. Okay? So, be careful also with the sign. Okay, so sige, solve natin. So, kunin muna natin yung VO due to the 10 volt voltage source. So, ibig sabihin, i-off ko muna itong 4 amp current source. So, copy ko muna itong circuit. So, pag mag-off tayo ng current source, ino-open lang natin siya, right? So, magiging, ito na lang yung kalalabasang circuit natin. Okay? So, meron na lang tayong series resistors connected across the 10 volt DC source, right? So, paano natin makukuha yung VO due to the 10 volt DC source by voltage divider lang, right? So, therefore, VO due to the 10 volt source is equal to applying voltage divider. Yung resistance natin across this VO is 2 ohms. So, 2 ohms over yung sum ng resistances dun sa series resistor. So, 2 ohms plus 3 ohms plus 5 ohms multiplied by the total voltage source na 10 volt. So, take note, positive yung VO natin dito kasi yung polarity natin ng voltage source is plus minus. So, yung direction ng current is counterclockwise. So, papasok sa positive polarity nitong uh, 2 ohm resistor yung current natin. Okay? So, therefore, pag sinolb natin to, we have 2 over 2 ohm plus 3 ohm plus 5 ohm times 10 volt is equal siya sa 2 volts. Okay? So, therefore, VO due to the 10 volt DC source is 2 volts. Okay? Next, kuhain naman natin yung VO due to the 4 amp current source. So, copy ko uli yung circuit. Okay? So, this time, i-off naman natin yung 10 volt DC source. So, kapag nag-off tayo ng voltage source, sinashort naman natin. Okay? So, ito na yung kinalabasan nating circuit. So, ano na yung circuit natin? Parallel resistor circuit with 4 amp current source, right? So, meron tayong dalawang branches. Itong branch na to, yung series combination ng 3 ohm at 2 ohm resistor at itong 5 ohm resistor. Tapos, yung total current na nagsusupply is itong 4 amp. Okay, so pwede natin gawin is kuhain muna natin yung current flowing dito sa branch na to. Let's say IO due to 4 amp. Para pag nakuha na natin yung IO, masasolve na natin yung VO dito sa 2 ohm resistor by ohm's law. 
Okay? So, dahil parallel circuit nga tayo, pwede natin i-apply yung current divider rule. Dahil gusto natin yung current na magpo-flow dito sa branch na to, yung kung saan kabilang yung 2 ohm resistor, kukuhain natin yung conductance nyan, which is, kailangan yung equivalent resistance ng branch na yan is 3 ohm plus 2 ohm, right? So, 5 ohm. So, 1 over 5 ohms over yung total conductance ng circuit. So, 1 over 5 ohms for this branch and another. So, plus 1 over 5 ohm for this branch. And then, right? multiplied by the total current source, 4 ohms. So, ito yung current divider natin, right? So, solving for I O due to 4 ohms, we have 2 ohms, right? Okay. Ngayon, dahil gusto nga natin is V O due to 4 ohms, apply natin yung ohms law. So, I O due to 4 ohms times yung resistance nung kinoconsider natin resistor is 2 ohms, right? So, substitute the value, we have 2 ohms times 2 ohms or 4 volts. Okay? So, take note, positive yung V O natin due to 4 ohms kasi yung direction natin ng current source is counterclockwise. So, again, papasok sa positive polarity nitong 2 ohm resistor yung current natin. So, kaya positive yung ating V O due to the 4 ohm current source. Okay? So, therefore, makukuha na natin yung total V O by adding V O due to 4 ohms plus V O due to 10 volts. So, substitute. So, V O due to 4 ohm current source is 4 volts plus yung V O due to the 10 volt DC source is 2 volts. So, we have VO is equal to 4 volts plus 2 volts or total of 6 volts. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Superposition Theorem. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.